Bowman here from BW1.com. I'm going to check out the Google Buzz widget from Google. They recently released this widget out for the an in the Android market, and this is sort of the first real kind of sort of app for Google Buzz, even though it's just a widget. So let's check it out. First thing we want to do is we obviously want to add it to our Android desktop here. All you have to do is tap and hold on to the desktop, wait for the menu to pop up, select widget, and then from there choose Google Buzz, and there's your widget right there. Just as simple as that. Now this widget can do several different things here. Let's pull it up a little higher here. As you can see. And it does several different things here. One of the first things is obviously if you hit the uh, Google Buzz icon, it'll bring up the browser and go to the full mobile version of Google Buzz in your web browser. If you hit the camera button, it'll obviously bring up the camera for you to take a picture that you can send through Google Buzz. And then you also have the little little uh, photo icon here. If you tap on that, you can take a picture that you've already taken out of your gallery and send that to Google Buzz. And if you hit the text box here, it brings up a bigger menu here where you can share your thoughts right here. You can type in what you want to type in here from links and stuff like that. You can choose to share your locations by tapping on there. You can add your pictures here either via camera or via the gallery. And then you can choose to either send it out public or private. So if you want to send it out private, it'll actually bring up a list, your list of groups and contacts that you want to specifically send this buzz to. And it's just as simple as that. And you just hit post and it sends it out. So that's pretty much it. That's how simple the app really is. Um, well, rather the widget is because you, um, you can't view your buzz timeline or anything like that. You can't add, add any buzz friends or follow anybody or anything like that. So pretty much just have it here. Another means for you to be able to post. If you don't want to open up the full web browser and post within there, if you don't want to open up Google Maps, you can post right through here and it just makes it a little simpler for you. Hopefully in the future we do get an official app where you can view your timeline and you can do several other different things too, you know, view your timeline, follow people, follow people, you know, follow people, have people follow you, you know, all different sorts of things and stuff like that. So hopefully that'll come out in the next release or well, the official Android app release of Google Buzz because this is really just a widget. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com. Reminding you to follow us at Twitter at twitter.com slash bw1.com. Subscribe to our RSS feed. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you just click that yellow button right over there on the side. And also, follow us on Buzz. We're at Buzz at bw1.com. That's B-W-O-N-E, D-O-T-C-O-M. And always remember, live your tech world in high definition.